A 20-inch water main break on El Cajon Boulevard leaves residents, business owners, and students at SDSU without water for hours. The break happened in the 6500 block of El Cajon Boulevard, just east of SDSU in the Rolando area. And that is where Jeff Powers joins us live with what happened. Jeff? Yeah, Jim and Heather, city water crews continue to work on the rupture that really tore through the asphalt. You can see right behind me here in Rolando. Crews say they'll be here all night into tomorrow morning. Uh, they say this is another case of old cast iron giving way. As new rules of water conservation are being solidified, these are not the images city leaders and residents want to see. We heard a loud sound and a car was trying to drive by and then the ground just lifted up. Chelsea Warfield and Dara and Dara Ariano say they were first on scene trying to help motorists. And then we had to like direct the traffic and stuff. Because people were going over And then it. we were like, no, we'll go back. The break impacted businesses in the area. For the new business owners of Fatty's Pizza, no water meant no pizza and no dough. We're going to have to shut down for the rest of the night. We're actually a new business around here. We've only been open for about eight months now, so it's, we're definitely going to feel it. The break also affected campus life at SDSU. I was in the shower and the water turned off. It shit pooed my hair, I had to wash it off with bottled waters. Our circulating pumps started going off, the alarms, uh, then we started finding out that it wasn't just in one dorm, it was uh, throughout the campus and residential as well. Shortly after we spoke with Pete, though, the water returned. We haven't actually used uh, cast iron in decades, so this is probably at least 50 years old. Water officials believe a crack in the cast iron is to blame. There's about 150 miles of cast iron still throughout the city. We're trying to replace all the cast iron water mains in the city, but it's going to take a long time. At this point, our goal is to have it all replaced by the year 2020. Now, we do know there was another water main issue in La Jolla, and we don't want to be too critical of the water department, but it did take them more than five hours to shut off the water to this main tonight. Uh, water officials will not be able to estimate exactly how much water has been lost. Uh, they'll do that, though, tomorrow morning. And speaking of tomorrow, that is when this section of El Cajon Boulevard is expected to reopen. In fact, they just pulled out part of the main that ruptured. We're live in Rondo tonight. Jeff Powers, San Diego 6 News. Jeff, thank you so much. And a water line leak shuts down a major intersection in La Jolla. It happened to Torrey Pines Road in La Jolla Shores Drive, causing flooding and tying up rush hour traffic. Police set up detours and directed drivers around the flooded streets. Crews were able to isolate the leak to a water valve and will reopen the intersection soon.